Hey, um, I didn't really plan to do all these MSW files this month. I had a plan for Vlogmas and it didn't really work out. But here I am again because I need to do these videos. So, um, this is another MSW files. Um, and today I want to talk about being in school and doing internships. So technically I've only had about one, two, three, maybe five jobs but I really have had like 10 because of my internships and the amount of hours I put into my internships and um, I'm only bringing this up because I just left the interview for my intern for another internship um, that I will be starting in January um, it just takes up a lot of your time and as I was driving away I realized that yeah I'm gonna be dog tired from now until August it's just the way life has to be and the hours just keep escalating as you continue on in your journey um well i really do like this angle i don't know anyways so um yeah internships are good because they give you like a lot of experience and um i don't know you get to use them when you actually apply for a job you can say that you've had more experience in the field um other people might not have that experience so they might not get the job but you get the job because you have had multiple mini jobs underneath your already regular job see what i'm saying um so internships are really helpful they're really frustrating at the time but they come in handy later on when you're actually trying to get a job um so or another internship in this case so um it helped me get other internships so this internship I'll be doing a lot of different things that I have not done before which I am grateful for um, because I was a little worried that it would all end up to be the same um, but yeah I have to put in 16 hours a week right now for like 30 weeks and then <clears throat> it goes up and up and up um, I don't know if any of you guys have internship experience for different um degrees or whatever um but i guess let me know in the description box below <laughs> um but yeah i don't know i'm just sharing that i got an internship because i'm excited and i was worried that i was gonna get one <laughs> and then i was gonna have to drop out okay okay um oh so let's talk about the difference between doing internships or trying to get an internship um online while doing online schooling versus doing in-state schooling so when i did my undergraduate i was at a university and i feel like they didn't give me as much help like they wanted us to figure out what we we're going to do ourselves i had a little help in the beginning but after that i was on my own to figure it out so when i got to my master's and I'm talking with somebody via Skype, like, how much are you going to help me? I already did it by myself once. I'm going to do it by myself now. Um, that was a mentality I had, but um, they're a little bit more involved. So you just find a place to go, like I said, Widener University. Um, so you find a place that will agree to take you, but then your like field advisor will have more conversation with them on the requirements that you need to complete um, your studies, basically. Um, so I thought that was helpful that I didn't have to go at it alone, but I didn't get it for a while. Like I didn't really tell her anything because I just thought that I need to figure it out myself and then let her know when I did figure it out. But it's more of like a teamwork thing. Um, so that was the original point of this video. Kind of got off track there. Um, yeah. So again, let me know if you have experienced any of that or have a different online experience or internship experience or if you're in an internship right now what you're learning okay okay girl bye